Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Let's Play the Stanley Parable. Okay, so we got some more choices to make and how about you- The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room and from then on he would never be alone ever again. Uh, am I still on the last one? Are you still- Wait, there was an achievement for oh, this. Oh please, are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yeah. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Oh, come on! Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly eh. 50 clicks. Eh. Eh. Oh. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Uh, what? 417? No, I'm gonna do 430. <laughs> okay, 417. I'm going for it now. Just screw your face. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. That's going to be good. Uh, where was it? Was it back here? 427. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. <laughs> hmm. 415. 425. Now, door number 437. 437! 437! Where's 437? 437. Where was 437? I don't remember. Couldn't have been back here, because... Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Oh, the copy machine. Of course, it's brilliant. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. Oh, I yeah. think we're getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. I'll go again. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419? 419? 419? Yes! yes. This is great. You're ah. putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Uh, 416. Where's 416? Mm. We've almost got it. Yeah. Now the copy machine. Do that one again. All right, you got it, boss. You got it, boss. Where's the copy machine? Where'd the copy machine go? The magic. <laughs> Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yeah! Yes, <laughs> we did it. Oh wow, that felt amazing. Yeah! Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Yeah! Nothing could hold you back. I'm really very proud of how far really we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really now, what were you thinking? <laughs> What was I thinking? I got an achievement. It was all rainbow and glowy in 4.30. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I feel good about my life. Oh, all right. Anyway, what were we doing? I don't remember. I think I was going to obey him or something. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, uh, came to a the door and then his left. Yeah. No more hidden achievements. Yet there was not a single person here either. Okay. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping <laughs> he might find an answer there. Uh, no! I, I want it! I want it! I want the broom closet! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs uh -huh. to his boss's office. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> what is with this? I want to go in the executive bathroom. I'm going to try to get in there. Because I've been down this road already, but I'm going to try to do something different. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Uh huh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Ooh, what, what dark secret Wait, was being held? What was the code? Two four. What he could not have Three, known nine? was that the keypad behind no? the boss's desk Two, four, guarded the terrible five, truth four. that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin. Damn it! I wish I bet. Eight. Four, five. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, stamp yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the key. <gasps> Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Sheer Amazing. luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Hang on. Wait a minute. I've forgotten the code again already. Two, eight, four, five. I'm going to remember that for next time because I'm going to come up here and push it. Never mind. Never, probably won't do anything. All right. So there was something else down here. There was another choice. The mind control. That's what it was. I want to go in the mind control area. I want to go in the mind control area. Maybe. I don't know what it'll do. But it'll do something. There we go. Into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Yes. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, uh -huh. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Yeah. Why did he feel this now? I don't... When for years, it had never occurred to him. Wow. Well, this question would not go unanswered for long. Uh huh. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. You got it, bruh! All over it. I am all about this. Oh, that's a lot of numbers. What, you want me to push this button? This button? Oop. The lights rose Ooh. on an enormous room packed hey! with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley? <laughs> did he have the strength to find out? Probably. Maybe. Can I go back? Wait, hang on. Let me save. Saved. Nope. Okay, moving forward. This is the room where I had a spoiler because there was a walkway right up there where I was. Okay, I saw red lights glowing. Hmm. Oh, now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Right. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Ooh. Stanley's co-workers. Ooh. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Ooh. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yeah. Cool. So what does it all mean? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes? I don't know. No. No. He refused to believe it. No. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Oh, it never. was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Did I? I don't know. Was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Mm. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, yes. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. You got it. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. Ow. Ow. Facility power. 
Is that what I need to do? Okay. All right. Ooh. 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 Is this my, is this uh Dr. Xavier's cerebrum thing? Oh. Well, that was easy. Hello? Wait, whoa, I see something here. Wait a minute, I'm... Blackness I... and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Uh-oh. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Uh. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Uh huh. Where had his co workers gone? True. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? True. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? True. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Yeah. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. ending yay and i'm right back in the thick of it all right <laughs> good god okay that'll do it for this part there's still a lot more mysteries to solve especially in that room i know there's another way to go about that because if i recall that's like a redesign of the ending from the demo i need to figure out something about that there's something interesting in there that i'm gonna see so thank you all so much for watching click the annotation for more videos that i've done and as always i will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!